get this all here back for another pick a card reading in which we will be receiving guidance and any other thing that spirit wants to reveal from your angels and loved ones um so yeah the decks that i'm using will be mentioned in the description box as always um keep in mind that these readings are for entertainment purposes only and are not to be a substitute for medical legal financial or any other type of advice you would need to get from a qualified professional also a free will is the way of life and we are all responsible for our own destinies at the end so there is one two and three here as always just take some time to meditate and choose whatever you feel drawn to pick also again keep in mind that it's not supposed to uh, resonate for every single person um that views this video however maybe give the uh, messages a little time to marinate and possibly see where they may fit in your life um so yeah i'm looking at current energy at this given time things could always change and again we do have free will um yeah so let's get started if you haven't had enough time to choose a set, please just pause and rewind. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to do pick a card readings often. Also, I do do um, subscriber requests. So if there's anything that you would like for me to look into um, with pick a card readings, um, comment down below and I will put it on my to-do list. And try to get that out for you. So, let's get started. Well, that's one. And move those others out of the way. Okay. So, messages from your angels and loved ones. So, here at the top here, we have a star seed message. And it says, well, an orca elder, share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. So, again, well, an orca elders, share your song, frequency of sound, uh, diving deep. So, I feel like there is a need for you guys to go beyond what you see um, that's on the outside, um, getting to know more of what's underneath rather than looking at a person or a situation and saying, well, this looks to be that this way. This person looks to be that way. Instead, try to get to know the person and like it says, or the situation and dive deep, get more information. Also, you can share your opinions and it also says share your song, um, but basically, I feel like this is about sharing your voice, um, whether you have a singing voice or just literally just expressing yourself and letting everything, letting your thoughts and opinions be heard by other people. Um, but yeah, that's what that um, feels like to me at this given time but yeah so it's very pretty card this is a new deck by the way newly released i do have a review of it um, not a review but a unboxing and first impressions video if anybody's interested it is the starseed oracle by um rebecca campbell but, yeah. So, I'm just trying to flip through the guidebook here just to give more context as to what this may mean. I've already given you my, what I feel intuitively about it. So, I'm not going to read the whole page here. Uh, whenever I can find it, I'm just going to scan through and maybe point out some things. This is a new deck, so... Um, Pardon me if I pull out the guidebook. 
And I've not worked with this deck just yet, so I'm not really 100% familiar with the energy of it. So, give me one second. I'm going to pause while I look for this. Okay, so there is an inquiry to this card where they want you to ask yourself a question. And the question to ask yourself within this one is, how are you being called to share your soul's unique song? Um, so, whatever it is you have or want to speak about, I feel like others resonate with you. Even though it is something unique, there are still kind of a handful of people that gravitate toward what you are wanting to share. So, I feel like your angels and your loved ones want you to let your voice be heard whatever voice that may be remember me by my happy memories we create it so your loved ones and your well most are your loved ones but angels as well they want for you to remember them as they were and the memories that you've had with them um also this is a message from your loved ones stating that whatever you have had like even in past relationships Current relationships, whatever the case is, they want you to remember happy times that were given by these people in place of worrying about why things ended, why things didn't go well. Focus on the good of those relationships, I feel. So now we have child. You are deeply about care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and attention we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you so um some of the time this can be about your inner child rather than literal um children so it looks like you're needing to work on your inner child working on being a little less serious sometimes um, and being clear and more open to um, fun. And again, just maybe being a child and maybe also remembering memories from your childhood um, as well. Um, but yeah, most so this could be about your inner child, but also it could be about your purpose being to work with the children at some point or to guide children so hello from heaven so we have more messages from your loved ones archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings so there are some people or a person that you have been very close with that has passed whether current whether recent whether the far past this is a message from them saying that they are okay let go of worrying how they feel because they feel at peace right now. And again, they want you to remember the happy times and not the way that they left out. For some of you, they did kind of leave out in a bad way. Um, if this is not somebody that has crossed over, this is just a message simply from God and Archangel Azrael telling you to let go of worries in general and um, that the universe is providing you blessings and again they want you to focus on positive things that have happened so we have ray and she says yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being peace and mind and spiritual growth right now so you do need to not necessarily physical exercise exercise um can be meditation um listening to music things like that per use these steps in your life as a daily method to help you cope with certain things in your life or just general to help you with your spiritual growth um we have turquoise spiritual path so as i said it looks like you guys are working on your spiritual growth and um you have a lot of things to share with other people about spiritualness I don't even think that's a word, but I think you guys knew what I meant. Um, so, turquoise is a crystal, by the way. This is a crystal deck. Um, and it says, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So, yeah. And a part of that life change is really expressing yourself, your wants, your needs, and 
just to different communities, even online communities about different things that you, you know, are interested in and passionate about so that other people can kind of get on your bandwagon. So you have, as long as it's positive, so you have sin, love, um, so regardless of what you do, what's going on in your life, even if somebody is being negative towards you, this is a message stating that you need to send love and be um, more compassionate to yourself and others um, and seeing all things through the eyes of love, even if things are not going the way that you want them to go. And then we have artists. So I feel like this goes back to here, well and Orca uh elders and it says engage in artistic activities and benefit is beneficial to your career in other in every other area of your life so i feel like this is more so about the artist side of you i feel like is your voice whether it's singing whether it's literally speaking about certain things that really um again that you are passionate about you are an artist and you have an art for speaking um even if you're afraid to speak in public, you have your words gathered. You you are a very intelligent communicator. Um, and it may be hard to kind of come out with this. So this is why this message is here to allow you to share that voice and not be afraid to speak up. So we also have asked for some help, number 29. Um, so yeah, ask for some help. Um, let's see. Oops. That is my dad's computer. <laughs> but, uh, transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. So, by asking for help, I feel like there will be a transformation. And again, it says a fresh new way of living. Um, but again, you need to share your voice. And by sharing your voice, also, it can be about you sharing um, your voice by asking for help, not being afraid to ask for something that you need, not being afraid to ask for something that you are wanting. Um, so, yeah, but this is going to help you create a beautiful transformation in your life and get you to where you need to be so that is it for those of you who have picked set one make sure you subscribe comment and like i wish you guys love and light and i'll see you guys in the next one okay welcome to those of you who have picked set two this is a reading regarding what messages and advice your angels and your loved ones have for you um, also, star seed message as well. We're going to get started here. We have Earth. Um, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So, I feel like you guys don't go with the flow enough. When I see this, I feel like you're constantly trying to be perfect. You're always, you're a perfectionist and you always have been. And when you get to a point where things are falling apart, you kind of self-destruct, I feel. Um, and this is about you, again, it says trying to be human, not trying to be perfect. Um, and be within the reality of the world, but not what you feel it's to be, which is perfect. And nothing is ever perfect. So I think you need to, and I think you know that, but you always want everything to be perfect. Um, so my mind is free. So that goes back to that as well. Um, this talks about freedom. It talks about not trying to get everything right all the time. And again, not trying to be perfect. You want to feel free. You want to freely express yourself. Uh, also, this is if you are worried about somebody that has crossed over, they want you to know that they are carefree. They are happy where they are right now. Their mind is clear. There's no more headaches. There's no more um, stress. They have let it all go and they're okay. Um, so yeah, and then we have the ocean. Um, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing wombs bring about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean, allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. 
so what I feel this is more so about so there's a few meanings well to really any card but um there's a need to maybe spend time around water whether it's the ocean the beach the sea uh just anywhere around water also maybe taking spiritual baths or even um drinking more water uh and meditating by some water and also i think if i'm not mistaken i want to say there's water in this card so definitely you guys have a connection with water and this makes your connection with the divine um feminine or just divine in particular or in general more stronger um and again it wants you like it says spend time physically near the ocean so any type of body of water is going to help open up your mind also i feel so we have patience um from archangel jophio and it says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize still they need nurturing and patience so everything that you have been waiting for and have wanted to bloom in your life is coming, but you have to give it time. Like I always say, when you are rushing something, again, I feel like it's, you again, back to trying to be perfect and you feel like with perfect, uh, with perfection, it also comes timing on your time, I feel, um, or what you feel to be perfect timing but the best inventions in life were not created overnight there was a process so give yourself time give things time to come to fruition and do not rush it because you rush it, it doesn't come out right so give it time um let's see we have adriana and she says, I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So, um, also, I feel like this goes back to your mind is free. Because it, it, when your mind is free, your intuition is clearer. You have better clarity and understanding of things going around you. You are more aware. So, Adriana is here to help you continue to free your mind of things that are clogging up your better judgment. Um, so again, through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams, this angel here and other angels and your loved ones, they are leading you to the prayers that you have been praying. Again, it's just going to take time and it's going to take, again, for you to have a clear mind. Um, this one popped up with two angel messages. Um, when I was pulling the cards for each set, this one ended up coming out, um, It's two cards. It's supposed to be one per set, but you guys got bon a bonus card. So you have Oceana. So when I see Oceana, I'm seeing the ocean card. Oceana, ocean. You see how close they are. This one says, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation, and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So, again, you can only really trust yourself and your gut if your mind is clear if you do not have clouded judgment, if you are perceiving things in a logical way. So uh, it does say take action, but it wants you to do this logically. Okay. And then we have from the uh, crystal deck here, Lapis Lazula. That's the Lazuli um crystal here life-changing epiphany or experience is time this is a time of big and blessed change for you and god will support you each step of the way so you have support no need to for again for things to be just all perfect trust in the support that you have around you because i do feel like you have support you just maybe don't want to not necessarily accept it, but maybe you're having a hard time that there are people on your side. Um, but yeah, just trust in the process. Trust that you have somebody holding your hand along the way, whether it's a loved one, um, an angel, God, the universe. There is somebody or something holding your hand. 
learn something new. So there's a need to get more information about something. Also goes back to my mind is free because when your mind is free, you have more room for more knowledge. So keep that in mind. So, or there's something maybe that's going to be revealed to you that's new that's going to help you. So, infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Yep. Your divine life purpose, I feel, also is about learning new things and teaching those things to other people. Um... <laughs> And don't focus on being perfect, again, because for your life purpose, your divine life purpose, you going through those steps to find what it is you are meant to do, um, that journey is not perfect at all. Um, but you looks like you guys will have some infinite abundance coming in, following by this advice in these words. Uh, so just keep them in mind. And... Yeah, you're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. See that fruit there? This is something that she worked hard for. Um, but I feel like it's because she let go of trying to have everything perfect. All right. Empathy, number 15. I don't know why I struggled with that word. But so some of you that have picked this are either... Um, you guys are empaths, pop, uh, I don't know why I said probably, but possibly. Um, you guys are very in tune with not only your emotions, but those of, uh, around you. Um, and you, again, I feel like you have a very strong connection to the divine. Um, and this ability is going to come out more stronger and again this goes back to you having support there are people on your side people that get what you are going through people that get that you are tired of waiting for certain things but through these people situations you will understand why it took them long so long to get to where they wanted to go or needed to be so wise leader you're a beacon for beacon for others so again i feel like you could teach this practice to other people Learning how to just be human and in the reality of the world. Um, yeah. Or this could be somebody coming into your life helping you become the person that you are supposed to be. And it's not that you're not that person now, but there's something missing. Um, yeah. And I feel like other people kind of, again, flock to your corner. These people are going to be coming in to help you, but the thing is, I feel like you're going to end up helping them more than them actually helping you. So basically the master, the teacher, well, the student becomes the master is what I'm trying to say. So that is for those of you who have picked set two. I wish you guys love and light. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tell us if this resonated. Um, yeah. And let me know if you enjoyed it. I do this to help you guys. And if I, you know, have feedback, it does help me to uh, help me and encourage me to want to do more. Again, I wish you guys love and light. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. So those of you who have picked set three, welcome. Gifted soul here. This is a pick a card reading in which you will receive guidance and messages from your angels and your loved ones. Um, whatever they want to reveal, whatever they want to say. There's also a star seed message here. So we're going to flip that over first. Earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Slow down. Time in nature. So that speaks for itself. You are needing to take a step back. Go outside. Sit down in the grass. Um, and again, spend time in nature, be mother nature because of this right here, pulse of the mother, uh, mother nature is advising you to spend time 
in nature that she has provided us. Um, and slow down. You're moving too fast in a certain situation. Or maybe your mind is moving too fast. And it's time to kind of slow down is what this is saying to you. And so I have become one of your guides. So whoever who has crossed over you are thinking about right now, they, they are with you. Also, this could be about Mother Nature being one of your guides as well, if that makes sense. Um, so this person that has crossed over, they have... Uh, they have become someone that has been guiding you since the day that they left the earth. Um, and this, I'm getting, I feel like this is more so someone that your parents or somebody was closer to. For most of you. This is obviously not going to resonate with everybody, so just take it as it resonates, okay? But I do feel like most of you here, a good few of you at least, this is about somebody that resonates more with um, a parent figure um, of yours. Could be grandparents also. Um, but they have came, they're not only assisting your parents or whoever else, they are also assisting you. Um, they're more so watching over you at this time more than anybody. And they have become somebody that it has actually been giving you um, courage and also have been giving you answers to the questions that you have been asking. So pay attention to those messages. And we have trustworthy guidance. So again, they're giving you trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea comes for them as well, I feel. This Idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. <clears throat> leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So this guide is helping you to be able to guide other people. Um... Because it is something that you are meant to do. So, yeah. Akasha, you are a spiritual teacher. So, maybe this is the leadership position. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So, not only psychic gifts or psychic abilities, but you are able to counsel people um, by giving them advice. And they really value your opinion um yeah so i feel like you are definitely meant to kind of help people in this area so you also have divine life purpose and aquamarine and i feel like the letter a may mean something because it keeps popping up here with akasha and aquamarine but divine life purpose trust the signs in your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. So, yeah. The color blue may resonate as well. Um, so, yeah. This, again, trust your inner guidance. The inner guidance you are receiving from this loved one. Um, the inner guidance you are receiving from Akasha. They are giving you this guidance so that you can be of spiritual assistance to other people. Um trust again trust in your divine life purpose trust in that guidance trust in yourself trust in the universe trust in nature <clears throat> justice your career brings fairness and protections to others who need your help uh so this is all about fairness all about balancing um all about allowing um, your soul to help somebody who really needs it. This isn't just spiritual help. This is somebody that needs help beyond what mo most people can give them, and you are able to give them that help. Um, it could even be a lawyer, lawyer, maybe, possibly. So, study habits. Number 10. 
so it looks like maybe you are needing to crack open the books or maybe you have and maybe you're overdoing it um yeah i would say that you guys are very 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 smart very interested in always i feel like I don't know, but it looks like maybe it's time to go back to school. So maybe some of you need to work on that lawyer degree, that law degree. Uh, this is not going to resonate with everybody, definitely, so keep that in mind. But um, for some of you, this area of helping other people does involve you getting more education. Um but yeah so our final card here is view from above get the big picture yep and i feel like you can do that by studying and you can do that by again trusting in those guys that are leaving you those messages to help you see the bigger picture of a situation there's things that you are missing things that you are not seeing things that um you're not the smallest details are actually things that make a big difference in what is going on around you um and also i feel the need to say do some cloud watching as well as there's messages there so that is for you the yeah those of you who have picked set three i wish you guys love and light and thank you for tuning tuning in don't forget to like comment share and subscribe with your friends and family um, I wish you guys love and light and I will see you in the next one.